Kashmir, known as heaven on the earth. The Neelam River is the largest tributary in Jhelum River Basin and originates out of glacial melts surrounded by mighty mountain peaks. The steep gradient and high specific discharge offer promising site for hydropower development. Depending upon the height of dam, a low head, high discharge power plant could be built. The run of River Heidel Station having capacity of 300 megawatts has been proposed namely, Ashcott Hydropower Project. Let's unfold the technical details of this run of river project. The proposed project is located on Neelam River near the confluence of Jagran River and approximately 56 kilometers away from Muzaffarabad, a capital city of Azad Jammu and Kashmir. The weir of the project is located some 2 km upstream of Jagran confluence near Sokhala village, and the powerhouse is located about 6 km downstream of Jagran confluence near Gelnulla. The RCC dam weir would be 20 meters high from riverbed and designed to discharge over 5,000 cubic meter per second. The crest width of the proposed dam would be 92 meters, and water discharge can be controlled with gated spillway. The power channel has been planned and designed from weir to sand trap. The topographic and geological conditions allow to have open channel with open sand trap at downstream. The clean water would be diverted into 10.6 meters diameter headrace tunnel. About 7 kilometers long concrete lined tunnel is designed to cater the 309 cubic meter per second design discharge. The waterway system end up to surge tank which will follow penstock to transfer water towards powerhouse. The powerhouse and transformer hulls are designed underground on the left bank of the Neelam River, considering the geological conditions of the project area. The main machine hull would be equipped with five vertical shaft Francis turbines. Each generating unit will have 60 megawatts capacity. The caverns are interconnected by four bus bar tunnels and one connecting passage. The transformer hull cavern lies upstream of the machine hull cavern, and it would accommodate 16 numbers single-phase transformers. One hundred thirty meters long access tunnel would be excavated to access the underground powerhouse. The access tunnel would be D-type, 7 meters wide and 7 meters high. The bottom width would be concrete-lined or metal-led road for easy transportation of the equipment and material. After feeding the turbine, the concrete line tailrace tunnel will drop down the water into Neelam River. The tunnel length would be 160 meters with 10.6 meters diameter. The completion period of the project is five years. On completion, the project will provide 1,347 gigawatts annual energy and transferred to local grid stations. In November 2018, the bankable feasibility study has been done, power evacuation and environmental studies are in place. Furthermore, the Private Power and Infrastructure Board approved the project for further processing. Let's hope for early commencement to overcome the country energy outages. Thanks viewer for watching, thumbs up if you like, write us your valuable suggestions in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more informative and exciting videos. Share the video link to your friend if you feel value.